As soon as Toy Story was released in the mid 90s, basically the entertainment industry looked at the success of that film and was like, okay, I guess we're pivoting all over our animation departments to 3D animation. That is the future. Pixar, since that time, has been a really, really important part of my movie going life. It has had some of my favorite movie going experiences. Seeing like Wall E for the first time up on a big screen was just like mind blowing for what American animation could do. Every technical innovation that they pioneered, the hair, that were shown in Monsters, Inc., the underwater shots of Finding Nemo. And then we come to the mid-2000s, and they release a little film called Inside Out. Welcome to our number one movie on my top 40 films since the time I was born. When I was putting this list together, I had a few different combinations of what my top 10 would look like. Inside Out was always there. And then as I started doing rewatches and like really trying to put this together, I finally did bump this up into the number one slot. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think this is correct. I think this is such a abstract film to even think about. And the fact that a major studio released this into theaters and that it was a huge hit is still a little bit bonkers to me. There's this recurring joke about Pixar is that it started as a company about like, what if toys had feelings? And then that idea became more and more abstract until it was like, what if feelings had feelings? And that's inside out. But I think that that's what the wonderful nature of this film is. There's these kind of two different levels that we're operating at. We spend the majority of the time inside Riley's head with her five different emotions with this beautiful story that you could use as a teaching tool. In my mind, you could use as a teaching tool to show that like, listen, no individual emotion is bad. It's just how you decide to release that into the world. Being mad is not a bad emotion. How you deliver being mad can be. And in this one, it's specifically about sadness. I think we as a society always try to prevent sadness from coming into our lives. We almost look at sadness as being a bad thing. And this film dares to say, no, be one with that sadness. It's okay to be sad and it's okay to use sadness as an emotional outlet. Really, at the end of the day, this is all about how toxic positivity is a bad thing. Now, the other level that we are going at is that this character of Riley, who is essentially going into puberty and, and having a lot of life changes at the same time, moving across the country, finding boys attractive for the first time, missing friends, there's a lot of changes happening because represented by her emotions going on an actual adventure inside of her. Plus, I think it's just incredibly funny and some of the saddest things that have ever happened inside of a Pixar film. I think that the visualization of a invisible friend finally being lost into the dustbin of your memory is such a gorgeous visual representation of that idea. I will have to say, not really looking forward to this proposed sequel that's happening next year, but we'll see. I'm always open to being surprised. I think Inside Out is the best Pixar film of all time. I do think it's one of the best animated films of all time, and it's definitely the best film that I have seen since I was born on July 11th, 1983. So what do you think? Let me know how wrong I am down in the comments below. I would love to have you share your lists, whether it's your top 10, your top 40, whatever it is you want to share, let me know. And next time, there is no next time. So thank you for taking this ride with me. Who knows, maybe in another year, I'll decide to do another countdown in celebration of my birthday. But this was a lot of work and I was really stressed out for most of it. So happy birthday to me. Maybe I'll be around for another 40 years. I guess we can dare to dream. Not me, but some of us can dare to dream. And for some of you, I'll see you at the movies. Woo! Bing Bong! We did it! We... Bing Bong? Bing Bong! Yeah! You made it! <laughs> Go! Go save Riley! <laughs> Take her to the moon for me. <laughs>